in prayer ashes of the days that soon coming king the creator of the whole universe you that is the come you have heard the sense in due respect we bow before you to deliver your good news the son we are alarmed and to warn the church that your sight whom thou have died for their sake we awake from their sleep now and stand for you. I decree as many that are predestinated for salvation, wherever you are, I command your spiritual life, I command your physical body to hear the voice of the Lord and respond now in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. My dear listeners, I bring to you a word, a message from the Most High God, the one that is to come, who his name is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ has sent me to you today to deliver this news, to deliver this warning, to deliver this message to you. And the title of this message is Right to Time, Two Minutes to Midnight. My dear listeners, 
It is high time for everyone that is of Jesus Christ to awake from sleep. Trumpet is about to sound. Jesus is about to rapture the church. He has sent me to warn you that we are now in the danger time. The remaining time for him to rapture the church according to his own time is two minutes to midnight. Two minutes to midnight. When Jesus Christ gave me this message, he showed me in the spiritual realm the tower of the time of life. And what is written there is Randolph. Two minutes to midnight. And the saints, the generals, those who had the understanding of the time, they understood the handwriting on the tower. And some of them are already panicking, 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 shouting that they cannot be able to meet up. Blaming themselves that they woke up late because the work that is remaining is too much. But there is no time to accomplish the work. Why some are trying to meet up? They already know that there is no how, no way they can be able to round off. That is why he sent me to warn as many that are called, as many that are predestinated, as many that are his, whether you are a sin or you are a saint, or you have been given one work to do, anywhere you are, even though a prodigal son. As long as you have the mark of redemption, wherever you are, a world from sleep, a world from slumber, because the hour has come. Our test is from 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 16 to 18. I read, But the Lord Himself, with the sound from heaven, with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the cloud to meet the Lord in the air. And thus we shall always be with the Lord. Therefore, comfort one another with these words. My brethren, the blood was in the Christ. This message is for you. And for those who have never joined the race, because even though you are a prostitute or you are a sinner, as long as the seed of redemption is in you, you will understand and you will hear the voice of the master. It is appointed time for everyone to awake because there is hope for everyone that believes in our Lord Jesus Christ. A day shall come that those that died in our Lord Jesus Christ. They will hear the sound of the trumpet and they will rise from the dead. And we that are alive, that have the Spirit of God in us, we will also hear the sound of the trumpet. And we shall be caught up to meet with our Lord Jesus Christ in the cloud. Wherever you are, depart from your sin. Wash your garments. Equip yourself. Because the Master cometh in a time that we know not. The topic of our message says, Wrap your time. Two minutes to midnight. I would like us to look into the topic. The fourth one says, Rapture time. This signifies the time when God will rapture the saints. But the Bible says, Though we are in the world, but we are not of this world. Though that are for Jesus Christ, a day shall come. Jesus will come and rapture them. With a trumpet sound, He will wake them from sleep. Because they are asleep. The grave cannot hold them captive. In the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 11 says, If he that raised Jesus Christ is in you, he will also raise you on that day. Two minutes to midnight, brethren, talks about time too late, time too short, time impossible for man to meet up with his project. A time too delicate for man to waste. Here midnight is talking about when work we seek. When there will be no more change. Listen, as long as man liveth on earth, one thing that is paramount in this planet earth is change. But in heaven, there is no change. What I mean is this when you die as a sinner, there is no more repentance for you until the day of judgment. But when you die in Christ, you will die no more in sin, you will die no more in hell. 
But when you die in sin, you are surely know that you are going to hell. Midnight is the time when man cannot make a change. Midnight is the time when we've been we endure forever to sinners. Midnight is the time when man will no more be happy, nor thirsty of loss of flesh, of pride of life, of loss of eyes. Those things will be no more. This is what God is making us know. Warning you today to depart from your sin. In the time of Noah, he had the understanding of the time. They cried to everyone. His generation asked him, Noah, are you stupid that God will destroy this world, which he has invested so much on? They laughed at him. They mocked him. They refused to understand. But Noah understood the time and obeyed the voice of the Lord. God is calling the wise ones. Those who will recognize themselves as sinners and hit their chest and return to Him. Those who will believe in Jesus Christ and be saved. We don't know the time when Jesus Christ will come. But He has given us the signs of His coming. And in every ramification, we have the understanding that His coming is perfectly at hand. Prepare to meet with thy God. In the book of Matthew, chapter 25 verse 1 to 13 Jesus Christ made us to know the condition of the church in time like this we are that generation that he described in that parable the time verges having five foolish and five white in verse 5 and 6 Jesus Christ explained to us the nature of the church today in this time when he will come please read it for me the gospel according to the book of matthew chapter 25 verses 5 and 6 while the bridegroom tarried they all slumbered and slept and at midnight there was a cry made behold the bridegroom cometh go ye out to meet him this is the situation of the church today. The saints are sleeping. You cannot differentiate those who have not the Holy Ghost and those that have the Holy Ghost in the church. You cannot differentiate the vibrant ones for Christ and those who are not vibrant because the church is asleep. And we are expecting the appearance of Messiah as he told us that when this weakness, when this slumber, we be in the church is when he will come. I don't know your situation today. How is your Christian life? What do you like? You have a zeal for Christ, yet you have a taste for fornication. You have a zeal for Christ, yet you have an iron spirit. You have a zeal for Christ, yet the things of this world, you cannot say no to them. You have a zeal for Christ working for christ but your relationship with christ no one can tell where are you standing sister where are you standing brother have you forgotten that the glory that is to be reviewed cannot be compared with the suffering we are passing today and you 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 my beloved one you you we have heard the message of jesus we have known about christ i will refuse to believe why waiting tomorrow why can't you repent today because death is at hand rapture also is at hand if anyone comes where are you going to be in hell or in heaven in this time where the child is asleep is the time that the messiah will come are you among the foolish or are you among the wise why can't you stand to take your extra oil to wait for the appearance of the master our Lord Jesus Christ opened my eyes in a revelation he said to me my servant declared to my souls in the world I'm about to rapture the church and in that revelation I saw him blessing one of his feet on the cloud while the other feet was in heaven to my amazement I saw angels standing at his back ready to blow the trumpet 
As soon as he removed the second feet, they declared. But the Bible says, if the days are not being shortened, the elect may perish. The days have been shortened. The world is coming to an end. Where are you standing? For Christ, for the world, or for the devil? Where are you going? To heaven or to hellfire? Listen, heaven is a prepared place for them that prepared themselves. Where is your first love? Where is your Christianity? Where is your first love? He that started in faith. That fire that was burning in you. That's it. Is that this still there? What is that thing that has taken your crown from you? Is it the affliction you are passing today? Is it the perilous time or the lust of this world? Awake, awake. Take up your extra oil. Let the Holy Ghost rule you. Let the love you are living today be the life of Jesus Christ. Not your own life. Ask yourself this question. Am I qualified to be raptured? For Jesus Christ gave us the criteria in the gospel according to John chapter 3. From verse 1 down to 8. We are looking mainly in verse 3 and 5. It is written, A serve the man be born again. You cannot enter into the kingdom of God. A serve the upon of the word of God. A serve the upon of the spirit. You cannot enter into the kingdom of God. But it is when the word of God transforms you and cleanses you, the spirit of the Lord lives in you. He is the one that will raise you on that day. But the Lord Jesus Christ says, if he that raised Jesus Christ is in you, he will also raise you on that day. Are you qualified to be raptured? Sister, heaven is free, hell is free. Where are you going? To hell or to heaven? Jesus Christ is calling you today. Are you a born again Christian? Confess your sins today. Return to Jesus Christ. The hour is at hand. Listen, we are in injury time. A time when Christians can die anyhow. A time when also sinners can die anyhow. But Jesus Christ gave us the proof of the time. It is written, Blessed is that man who washed his robe or her robe are waiting for the appearance of the master. Whether it be in the morning, in the afternoon, in time or not, because he is coming as a thief. Paul says, if I die, it is an advantage to me. And if I live, it is for Christ. Today, I don't know where you are standing. You say you are for Christ, and you are in the house of a prostitute. Hear the voice of the master, return to your owner. You are for Christ. You are ending up in Babylon. The voice of Jesus Christ is calling you. Return today. We are for Christ. Yes, they are saturated in you. Jesus Christ is calling you. Hear the voice of the Lord today. You are for Christ. You are sleeping. The work the master handed over to you. You have left it. I want you, everybody, wherever you are, under the sound of this message, knowing that God has given you an assignment to do. Knowing that you are a child of God, yet in sin, can I see you returning to the master? Can you call unto the Lord and say, Lord, I need help from you. Come into my life, Lord Jesus Christ. Prepare me for rapture, Lord Jesus Christ. Write my name in the book of life. For it is written, it is appointed once for a man to die after their judgment follows. What do you have to give as an account for the life you have lived? Our Lord Jesus Christ is coming soon. We are now be found in the book of life. Cry to the Lord now concerning your life. Talk to the Lord now concerning your life. I want you to pray with me. Lord Jesus Christ, I surrender my life to you. I renew my relationship with you now. How much for me? Cleanse me with thy blood. I return to you. Write my name in the book of life and make me rapturable. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord, I decree by the power in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The sinners who are not on the phone, that hear all this voice. But they are yours. Bring them to the fold. Let them never rest. Write their name in the book of life and cleanse their sin. And I decree to the warriors who are sleeping. Not having a straw oil. Let them go and buy the truth and sell it not. And be ready. For I decree 
I join the host of heaven saying, Come, Lord Jesus, come. In the name of there Jesus Christ, There will be Amen. shouts in the end this world When we have come Won't it have me be Won't it follow Won't it have me be Come and join us Please me, I'll make me all the 